The Magic of Manifestation, My Personal Favorite Method Hey guys! In this video, I want to deviate from my usual content and share my personal favorite method of manifestation with you. First and foremost, I want to tell you that in the past, I actually manifested everything, both good and bad, in my life, even though I was an unconscious thinker back then. However, a few years ago, when I went through the dark night of the soul and embarked on the process of awakening and personal development, from meditation to manifestation to reprogramming my subconscious mind, I became a conscious thinker. I set a new purpose for my life, to study the laws of the universe and discover how manifestation truly works. I already knew back then that it somehow worked, but I only had a vague idea of how to practically implement it. I could feel it, but I couldn't rationally explain it. Small things, like manifesting a kilo of strawberries while eating strawberry cake or finding four, five, and six leaf clovers, worked instantly. But the big manifestations, which I wanted to experience as true proof, took longer to materialize. In recent years, I've tried various methods such as writing my new story, keeping a manifestation journal, writing an email from my future self to myself, speaking positively to water, placing it under my pillow, visualization, affirmations, reality shifts, raising my vibration, listening to subliminals, and even doubling a 100 euro bill. We doubled it to 1,800 euros in just four weeks. I don't even remember why we stopped back then. But now, let's get back to the topic. Trying out these methods should be fun, and they should resonate with the user. Only then do they work as they should, although not always as desired. During my experimentation, I stumbled upon a method that serves as proof and the ultimate manifestation test, ensuring that I'm not chasing an illusion. And it's actually quite simple. It's a visualization and breathing exercise that I tried for manifesting money. The key is to activate your creative energy before falling asleep. Personally, I prefer doing this before a power nap. You should apply this method while falling asleep because the subconscious mind continues to work during sleep, allowing the visualization to be absorbed or anchored on a subconscious level. To activate your creative energy, you don't have to be an expert in chakras, but you need to understand that our creative energy resides in the area below our navel, the sacral chakra. This is where our sexual energy lies, the energy that creates us as human beings. It's one of the most powerful energies. The process behind this method is also known as sexual transmutation. During this process, the energy from the sacral chakra is brought up to the third eye chakra. And we try to utilize this energy to attract our desire, in my example, money. So, we activate our creative energy, bring it up to our third eye, and plant our desire as a visualization in our third eye. All of this happens in the same moment. So, get comfortable, relax your legs, arms, shoulders, and loosen your hips. If you want, you can perform a meditation to open your chakras or specifically open your sacral chakra beforehand. Now, close your eyes and focus on your center while breathing. Take deep breaths into your abdomen and exhale slowly. Try to create pressure in your center with your breath. Next, establish a connection with your third eye chakra by drawing the pressure from your navel upwards towards your forehead. You can imagine pulling up a line of light or envision the pressure as a small white ball that rises slowly. Now, focus the pressure of your breath on your third eye and imagine a bright light appearing in front of you. Allow the light to become larger and shape it into a portal. Now, let your visualization or desire unfold within this portal. I simply imagine money bills falling from a YouTube meditation video. You can also envision your bank account balance growing, someone handing you money, or receiving a message that you're receiving a large sum of money. Now, step through the portal and enjoy this moment of abundance. What's really important now is that you forget about it. Set it and forget it. It's crucial that you've set your manifestation and now forget about it so that it can appear in your life. 
When you wake up, don't think about money or your desire anymore. Forget about it. You'll remember it when it manifests in front of you. Forgetting is equivalent to letting go and is truly important for the success of manifestation. When I first applied this method, I found a 1 euro coin after about 2 hours. Not a penny, as one usually finds, but an actual coin lying in front of me during a walk in the forest. In that moment, I remembered that I had applied the method. I had completely forgotten about it. This coin has now become my manifestation coin that I use for further money manifestations. But that's not all because on the same evening, I received an email that my lottery ticket was successful. I only won 9 euros and 90 cents, but I was amazed that I had even guessed a few correct numbers. I hope you can take something from my personal experience, and I wish you lots of fun and success with manifesting. Thank you.